Welcome to Sports Tuesday. I'm Ricardo Lightborn. The 500 meters and the 100 meters were record breaking in the high school track and field championships. These kids have reason to celebrate. Let's go to the girls under 18, 500 meters, and this was an all Jaguars. Jarrell Strawn from start to finish, 6 minutes and 9 seconds. A treat as she received a medal from B3A's president, Rosemont Carey, and holding the gold. It was a lot of pressure, but I had to keep pushing myself, and I had to keep trying to open the gap, although it was hard, but I tried to keep with it. What's next for you? Are you looking at possible trials at Carifta? Yes, sir. In the future, I'll be trying for Carifta. I'm just trying to get my time more at a steady pace. But yes, sir, I'm trying and to go off to college. The girls under 20, 59 meters was a pretty good one for Bishop Michael Allen Warriors, Quanisha Marshall. She ran a meet record 5 minutes, 11 seconds, and felt pretty good about her run. It was a good race. I mean, even though there wasn't any competition, but if I go abroad, I'm sure I'll find it. But the race was very intense because I was planning on running at a specific time. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure I'll be there before I the trials. Tell me about last year and where you are this year. How do you feel your progress? But last year, I didn't really run the 1500 because my coach had me in a four. And I ran 56.36. But um, it was a good time coming back to my race that I haven't run in two years and running 510. It was a good race. And I thank God I finished it. The Jaguars also went to the 20 boys, 500 meters, and that's Renan Hudson. He finished in 4 minutes and 29 seconds. Let's go to 100 meters and the Falcons. Stephanie Dean, the clock 13.25 seconds. Cassie Thompson, second, and Michaela Tucker, third. And the boys under the 4100 meters, it was Tabernacles Mateo Smith. Crossed the line in 12.38 seconds, and Zion Campbell was the second place finish. Christopher Cooper finishing third. In the finals in the 16, 100 meters, this was fast. Tabernacle, Renique Bassett running 12.85 seconds with the gold. Trevana Grant also the silver, and Carell with a good one here for bronze. Tabernacle, Ramiko McKenzie ran 11.63 seconds for the under 60, 100 meters. Kendall Culver second, and Avante Forbes third. The under 18 girls won was pretty quick. The Falcons, Caitlin Hewitt ran 12.48 seconds for gold. Jada Stewart, silver, and Sylvania Russell, bronze. In the boys, 100 meters, Shaquille Higgs had a good one going, and also Trevana Aline, 1-2 for Tabby. Sylvana Russell also right there as well to get the bronze. Tabernacle Lachelle, also an under 20, goes 100 meters. Tabby Asia King, second, and Dejana Hill, third. In the under 20 boys, this was a good one to 100 meters. Javon Martin, 10.80 seconds, and shut it down 20 meters out. Jonathan Smith, second, and Cruz Humes, finishing third. The Falcons of Tabernacle won four divisions, the under-14 division and 208 points. The under-16 division, Tabernacle won at 313 and a half points. As far as the under-18 title, it goes to Tabernacle. They had 313 points in the 20 champion, Tabby as well, 417 points. If you want to go to medal count, Tabernacle won 55 gold, 36 silver, 21 bronze for a total of 112 medals. Let's now go to basketball over in Abaco from the weekend. Old Foots defeated Young Kings 60 to 56. Central Pines put away none other than Abaco Central High 49 to 38. Sandy Point Royals with a 67 to 53 win over Treasure Key and Marsh Harbor Rockets. They nipped Marsh Harbor Royals 60 to 59. As far as the Grand Bomber Basketball Association, Versailles Cold Course, they defeated the Grand Bomber Shipyard. Our cruises 89-80-79 and then also Norris Bain paces over the Gym Rats 87-75 and that's in you got a Division A play. In Division B it was Pelican Bay over West Grand Bahama 56-49 reach out Saints with a 47-36 win over the Gym Rats and also the Grandma Volleyball Association got a couple games. Nesbitt Randall Angels defeated the Pleasant All-Stars in ladies play 24-25, 25-23, 19-25, 25-20 and 15-6 as far as the Nesbitt Reynolds, they also defeated the Gava Youth in Action, 25-12, 25-14, and 25-15. And we gotta say congratulations to Peyton Ingram. Yes, he's a big one today. I can't remember when I was one. But anyhow, that's a look at sports on Tuesday.